Hey guys, it's me, Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, we're going to be eating at convenience stores all day long. Yeah, let's get some. We have a bamboo forest right over here. That's pretty cool. Sneaking into the bamboo forest. Oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? So much greenery in Japan. Fabulous. I'm getting really hungry. Let's go find a convenience store. Okay, here we go. The first stop, breakfast at 7-Eleven. Oh yeah. Got two items. The first one is a little mini ham and cheese burrito. These things are so awesome. Yep, they are the best thing that 7-Eleven has. I've been buying these for years and years. That's what it looks like. Nice for a little small meal like breakfast for me. I don't eat much for breakfast typically. I'll have a smoothie and then maybe something like this. So it's ham with three cheeses and the price is about $2.10. So let's get into it. And it's heated up nicely. Oh yeah, the cheese is nice and gooey. It's mostly cheese, just a little bit of ham, but oh yeah. Gooey, gooey cheese. You get quite a bit of cheese. Mm-hmm. If it had a little hot sauce, it would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Sometimes simple is just the best. In 7-Eleven, you did this right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And this is an almond Danish. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Let's get it out of the bag already. Oh yeah, almond Danish for breakfast, perfect. We need a little bit of sweetness. Mm -mm. Oh, it's nice. Yep, with almond shavings on top, and it's got a maple icing on it. Whoa! Yummy! The maple goes really well with the uh, almonds. Mm -hmm. The bun's a little on the dry side, but mm, it's okay. It just looks gorgeous. So many almonds on there. Mmm. Mmm mmm. -mm. That's it for breakfast, what's next? Let's go find some hills and get some exercise on the bike here. Yeah. Next stop is the mini stop. Are we hungry? I am starving. Let's get some. This here is called Umi Ajisen. So, like the taste of the sea, they are rice crackers, rice balls, rice cracker balls. That's what they look like. Mmm. Mmm, they got peanuts inside. 
There's a peanut right there. They're all a bit different. Some are sweet, some are salty, and some are uh, a little bit spicy. Mmm, those are good. I would definitely buy these again. Next up is a Gishiri Gobo salad. That's looking pretty good. So it's got some seaweed in it, burdock root, carrots. It's in a mayo sauce, it looks like. And it's nice to give you a fork to eat it with. Good. That's what it looks like. Burdock root salad. But I like it. It's got the hijiki, the, uh, the dark seaweed in it. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a hearty salad. Mwah. You get quite a bit for a dollar eighty. I like that you can get different Japanese types of salads at convenience stores. Yes, yeah, so they're getting more popular and more varieties now are available. Mm -hmm. Not just green salads. The dressing is a sesame, like a sesame mayo, creamy dressing. My favorite. I love the crunchiness of burdock root. And it just tastes good. It's my favorite of the root plants, I think. Next up is a sandwich. They're calling it a honey mustard chicken roll. Let's get in here for a closer look. Tons of the spicy mustard on there. Wow. Or honey mustard. Maybe it's not that spicy. And what is that? Is that some cream cheese right there on the end? Going in. Oh. It's got a very herbal taste to it. I like this. Herbal chicken. Herbal? Herbal. Which is it? In Japan, we pronounce the H. It's herbal chicken. And the honey mustard, oh. Fantastic. Now, it looks like there is some cream cheese in there. It's a very creamy, <laughs> very, very creamy sandwich. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The chicken's pretty good. Yep. Chicken breast. It's nicely seasoned too, salty. But this honey mustard is the bomb in the cream cheese. Delectable. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. To drink today, we've got lemon tea. One of my favorite teas in Japan. Oh yeah, a bit of sweetness to this. This is good. Thirst quenching for sure. Yeah, this is good. Now, by the Kirin Beverage Company. It's good, it's refreshing. As it says, refresh. I was tripping over my bike, had to move it back a little bit. So, next up is the Kushikatsu. I'm pretty excited about this. It's pretty rare to find these in a convenience store, I think. Or at least I haven't really seen them that often. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's fried pork, breaded pork, and it comes with a sauce, yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Ready, going in for the pork, the breaded pork. Oh! oh. Oh, this is so good. It's like I'm in a restaurant. That is so good. There's onion in there, and then the really super tender pork, and this just banging tangy sauce. Oh, that onion in there. There's a stewed onion. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I like that a lot. There's a bullet train right there. Okay, let's go for some more. Oh, it's all about this sauce. Mm. Oh, so good. Best item so far. Oh, yeah. 
Mm, mm, mm. Next up is a rice ball. This is fatty tuna with green onions, and it's also got wasabi. Wasabi. Go for a big bite, see if we can get some of the fatty tuna. It's minced tuna. Mmm. Mmm. It's juicy. Mm hmm. Didn't get much tuna in that first bite. Let's try again. Not tasting much wasabi. Maybe it's right here. And there's some, looks like some green onions in this bite too. <laughs> oh yeah. Now the heat's coming on. Oh ho. That is a nice rice ball. Finish her up. All done with lunch. That was a fabulous meal. Let's go do some more mountain biking. Where are we gonna go? Let's head down this way. Ooh, he's harvesting the rice. Let's go in there for a close up maybe, huh? Oh, this is classic. Oh yeah. Got the rice harvest in action here. Oh yeah, this guy's about 80 years old. He's all over it. Yeah, and then they bag it up right here. Rice harvest time. Go, go, go. Let's count his bags so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 bags, 23 bags. 23 bags of rice. Not bad for a day's work, a morning's work. Let's check out some scary scarecrows. <laughs> this guy, he's pretty scary. There you go. Beautiful, huh? That's what it looks like. Yep. Pretty scary, huh? This is a boy's high school uniform right here. Yep. No birds are going to be invading this field. There's more of them out there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that fixed. All right, here we go. We're at the Daily Yamazaki. This is convenience store number three. It is time for a snack. Yeah, let's get a snack. All right, go on. Ooh, this is a tree house. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Love this road. And it's only about 10 minutes from my place. It's great. All right, natural spring water. Let's get a drink. Look how clear that is. It's right out of the ground. Whoa, it's nice and cold. Whoa, it's cold. Ice cold spring water. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's have a snack right over here in this tiny little park. <laughs> Let's see, we got one, two, three, four items, and we're going to go from the least sweet to the most sweet. The so first will be the potato chips, Ariel. Never had these before. They look kind of interesting. They look more like shredded wheat breakfast cereal. Uh, we'll see. They're barbecue flavor. Ooh, they smell pretty good. See, they do. They look like shredded mini wheats. They still have that cereal in America? Potato chips. Oh! They are so soft. Mmm. Oh, these are wonderful. Super soft and a light crunch. A light barbecue flavor. They're on the sweet side. Well, 
I just love the softness. Mmm. Oh. Oh, these are good. Next up is a fresh persimmons. Yeah, from the convenience store. This thing is super, super ripe. How many of you guys have ate persimmons before? It's in season right now, so that's kind of nice about convenience stores is you will get in season fruits sometimes. Sometimes, not always. A knife would be better, but we'll just, we'll work with it. So basically the way you want to eat these things is when they're super, super ripe because they get super, super sweet and they get super, super soft. Just try not to make too much of a mess. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is so good. So good. Messiest fruit ever, yeah. Worth every bit of the mess. Oh, oh, that's good. Next up is some of my favorite ice cream. These little bonbons, they're called Pinots. These are just the cutest little things ever. Yeah, a little bite size. Chocolate covered vanilla ice cream. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's a dark chocolate. Oh, goodness. That is really, really good. And it's really sweet ice cream. Oh, this is fantastic. Mmm. Oh, the crows are moving in, man. See, they want some. They know it's good, man. These guys are getting in close. They can fight over this right here, the persimmons. This is really Natsukashi. It's been a long time since I've had these. That's what Natsukashi means. It's been a long time, probably a year. Mm. Oh, chocolate and vanilla ice cream together. Mm. Oh. Go ahead, get some. No? Mm. The last item is right here, rummy rum raisin chocolate. Oh yeah, it has alcohol in it, 3.7%. You get three of them, and it's definitely good to eat chocolate in moderation. I'm not very good at that. I typically will eat all of it. If, if I have chocolate in the house, it's all gone. I can never save it. So I don't buy it very often. Here we go. Oh, the rum. Rum raisin, what can I say? Chocolate's a bit waxy this time. I think because I just ate the ice cream, that's why. But the rum and the raisin in this stuff, mmm, fabulous. <laughs> Packed up here and rolling on. Where are we going next? Gloves, check. Sunglasses, check. Podcast, check. Let's hit it. I gotta get a new one of these. Guess what? I'm getting hungry again. We are at the family mart. Let's get some. The 
スパイシーチキンちょっとつけてください。はい、スパイシーでーす。温めどうします？あ、お願いします。はい。袋つけます。あ、大丈夫です。もう大丈夫？はい。千九十六円でーす。はい、どうぞお待ちください。どうも。九百四円お返しですね。はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Welcome to the Pacific Ocean, everybody. More like the Pacific Lake. No waves today, huh? Have to come back tomorrow. Yeah. At least we got a sunset. A bit of a sunset happening. Yep, yep, yep. So we were losing light out there and decided to move it indoors. We're going to start out with a cheers to you guys. We're having a Kirin beer. I believe this is one of the fall. Specialty beers. Here you go, cheers. Kush. That's a pretty live beer. It was bouncing around on the bike. You guys know this trick, right? You stick your finger in the head here and then it goes down twice as fast. It's not working. That's about the right amount of head right there. Cheers, guys. Tastes strong, strong beer. So that was quite a lot of cycling we did today. I am famished. I am definitely gonna eat here for this last meal of the day. What I've got here is a bento. Traveling with bento boxes isn't always the greatest because the stuff shifts around. This is what it's supposed to look like. So we've got some saba, horse mackerel in the front. This is a chikua or fish cake. And then we've got some scrambled egg there. Uh, that's a meatball, maybe. Not sure. This is pickled garlic. And then, of course, white rice. Pickled garlic? Pickled ginger. Excuse me. <laughs> They're not the same. Save the toothpick for later. It's nice, huh? You get a toothpick. Let's go right in for the fish. Yes. Been craving fish all day. And now we finally got some. This is the best reasonably priced fish in Japan, I think. Mm. Oh, that is so good. All kinds of flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, meaty, meaty, meaty fish. There's a lightness to it, there's a darkness to it. It's a really juicy fish. That's what I like about it. Yeah. Let's try the fish cake. It's a bit on the chewy side. It's kind of mochi like. Hmm. More of a rice cake than fish cake. Yeah. The rice have got sesame seeds on top. A little added extra flavor. Oh, it's good. Got some burdock root here. Well, this is not with mayonnaise, this is with shoyu. Yeah, totally different than the one we had for lunch. Scrambled egg, very popular with the bentos. Try some of the pickled ginger. That's pretty good. Well, you've always got to have some pickles with your bentos. And this here is the mystery meat. I have no idea. Oh. It's a minced chicken. This is really nice. I like that. Minced chicken? Or it could be, yeah, minced chicken. Next up is a Nikuman. This is a, oh, let me just show you. It's a bun. It is, it's served hot. And this is, it's a nice item in the winter time. It's starting to get cooler in Japan now. These things are really nice in the winter. Yep, look at that. And that is 
the standard nikuman. So I believe that is, what kind of meat is that going to be? Is it going to be pork? Oh, sweet pork. It's a giant dumpling. Oh, yeah. It's been ages since I've had one of these. Oh. All kinds of flavor on the inside of this. And the bun, it's nice and moist on the inside and then kind of sticky on the outside. It's like a giant Chinese dumpling. And now it's time for the last item. No convenience store tour in Japan would be complete without. Here it is. There's the bun. Here's the meat. That's right, the DIY chicken sandwich. This is spicy chicken. And Family Mart, I believe, has the best chicken, the best fried chicken of all of the convenience stores. It is fabulous. For today's bun, I have got an onion roll. This is a beautiful onion roll. It's got some Nordy seaweed flakes on top. It's got cheese and this in the middle there, the orange part, I believe are fish eggs, mentaiko. So for those of you in the know, you just put this right here and you fold it up like that. And that's it, and that is the chicken sandwich. DIY style, there it is, yep. No condiments necessary, although we do have some ready just in case. All right, here it is. Cheers, guys. The DIY chicken sandwich. How's it going to be today? It's so heavy. It's so meaty. Oh. Oh, oh that chicken is so juicy. And this bread is so moist. The mentaiko fish eggs are spicy, which is nice, so it doesn't need any hot sauce on it. The chicken itself is spicy. The bread to chicken ratio is a bit much. I think what we could use here is some mayo. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, much better. This may just be the perfect DIY chicken sandwich. Oh, last bite, it's gonna be a big one. <laughs> that was a pretty good meal. I think I'm gonna be full for quite some time. That was a good deal, it was only about 10 bucks and I will put all of the information down below about the item names and prices if you want to see. So four convenience stores total we went to today, a lot of mountain biking. I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. I certainly did. And on my rating scale between one and six arcades, cheers first, we'll finish the beer. Today I think I'm gonna go five out of six. I'm gonna give it a five out of six. Japanese convenience stores are fabulous. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.